Remember this reveal in 2016? You didn't know what you were seeing at first, but with each progressive shot, it became more and more familiar until you finally saw that firefly symbol and knew that this was The Last of Us. And just when you thought your excitement had peaked, you saw that Ellie and Joel would be returning. By the end of it, I had full on tears rolling down my eyes. And it's made me think, when was the last time we had a moment like that from Naughty Dog? Because lately it seems they can't surprise us with anything because all their shit keeps getting leaked. Dr. Poop Love here, and today I'm gonna talk about Naughty Dog's leaking problem. And we should probably start with the first massive major leak in recent times, and that is The Last of Us Part Two leaks. Just before Naughty Dog was able to release The Last of Us Part Two, a leaker exposed critical moments of the story, showing major deaths, major moments, and major plot twists. And it included little context other than an accompanying text that included false assumptions and straight up lies, which sought to paint this game in the worst possible light. And of course, this had some disastrous effects on the release of part two. The narrative of what this game was had been taken over and toxicity was festering. It's actually interesting to think about how much less toxic things might have been had these leaks not occurred. People had suspected that this was maybe some disgruntled employee, but ultimately Sony disclosed that it was from someone outside the company. And of course, you would think that preventing another leak would then become priority number one. But apparently not, because in the lead up to Naughty Dog's next game, The Last of Us Part 1, we have seen leaks at every turn, from actually revealing that this game exists and how it came about, to the release window being disclosed, to even Sony themselves accidentally leaking their own announcement trailer hours ahead of schedule. And now, more recently, we got leaks of gameplay, screenshots, and key scenes. It even forced Naughty Dog to release their own pre-planned gameplay video ahead of schedule just to try to get some control again over the narrative surrounding this game. But it also didn't stop the leaks because we got more just last week showing a key scene. And some reports out there say that this leaker could have gotten their hands on a hard drive or much more information and so we may end up getting many more Naughty Dog and potentially other maybe God of War leaks in the coming weeks. And also when I think about it, it just seems like we're constantly getting leaks about all kinds of games all the time these days. And this all really just makes me wonder, is this just gonna be the new normal for Naughty Dog? Will we come to know everything about Factions 2 before they even get a chance to even announce what they're calling that game? And what about Naughty Dog's secret new single player game? And I mean, honestly and selfishly, I would gladly accept Factions 2 leaks or anything Naughty Dog is working on because my hype levels for Factions 2 are through the roof. And of course, I could make a video that would get views pretty easily. But the reality is, this would only be a bad thing in the long run, as it hurts the dev morale, and it could hurt those games' chances at being a major success. And honestly, Naughty Dog does truly deserve to reveal what they are working on on their own terms. I know some might argue from a consumer standpoint that some of these leaks reveal things Naughty Dog or other companies are trying to conceal. For instance, Naughty Dog's marketing strategy for The Last of Us Part 1 has been to carefully show bits and pieces, mostly the visual enhancements, but not longer gameplay sections. And perhaps this is because they did not include some of the major elements from The Last of Us Part 2 that people expected to see, like the dodge or the prone. But ultimately, as a consumer, we don't need leaks to see that they aren't showing us that. And gamers should always be skeptical and not rush to buy something without seeing critical information that makes a product worth buying for them. And again, ultimately, the developer of a game should have the right to reveal their product on their own terms, just like we as consumers have a right to not be completely convinced until they confirm or show off certain aspects of that game that we need to see to make the personal choice to buy it. Personally, I miss the days that 
we were able to get completely surprised and awestruck by something that Naughty Dog has been working on. So why does this keep happening? Well, in part, I think because Naughty Dog is considered one of the best studios. They always seem to have some interesting narrative twists, love them or hate them, and have been in more recent years completely quiet until they absolutely have to speak. And all of this means that the intrigue surrounding what they're working on is always very high. And so any leaks are going to get a lot of engagement. But I also think that because they are so highly regarded in the industry, there's a bit of a desire from some to take them down a peg. And if you notice, the most massive leaks have always been with an attempt to paint them in a bad light. Even in the 2020 leaks, there was straight up lies and lack of context that hurt the impression that people had on the game before anyone even got to experience it for themselves. And I will never really understand what causes someone to even want to leak anything. As I don't really understand what you gain from leaking. I mean, you're often maybe going to put your career or livelihood at risk. You're going to ruin things for everyone. I, I don't even think you can make money off of it. And you pretty much have to be anonymous. So what kind of notoriety could you even get? Regardless, I can't help but feel bad for Naughty Dog. They haven't been able to reveal a game on their own terms in a long while. And of course, as a dev who worked really hard, having these big reveals taken away from you has got to hurt morale. And you wonder how this is going to affect and maybe even delay the development of their next game, which is Factions and is going to really piss me off. because. They may now have to take time to ramp up security measures and take time to investigate how this all happened. And that might take precedent over some of the game development that's occurring. And it also seems like these leaks are dramatically hurting Naughty Dog's game's chances. The Last of Us Part II recently sold just 10 million copies, and although that number is substantial, it does seem to be a bit soft when you compare it to the original Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima, which was released around the same time and was an unknown IP selling about the same amount of copies in the same amount of time. And now with The Last of Us Part 1, these leaks have sparked more controversy as to the asking price and the lack of some of the features that fans have been hoping for. And you have to wonder if this is going to hurt that game's sales as well. And thinking about this, how could this negatively impact factions? I, I really just don't like what's happening here. And I really want Naughty Dog to regain the control of the narrative surrounding their own games. Naughty Dog needs to do something to prevent this from happening. I want to be able to be surprised again by something Naughty Dog is working on because I know that when Naughty Dog releases a game, it's done with intention and passion and I want to be able to have the full context of what they're about to release. So here's hoping we can have one of those moments again very soon. And in the meantime, if you want to see my complete gameplay breakdown of The Last of Us Part 1 gameplay that Naughty Dog showed us, then you should check this video out. But otherwise, so long, Pooper Troopers.